And then finally, we want to talk about Rivian, which is a perennial trending ticker on yahoofinance.com. The stock is down almost 50%, more than 50%, I should say, from its highs that it reached in November after coming to the public markets. The stock's down 3% this morning, so extending declines. And the company said its chief operating officer has left. Rob Cope, Rod Copes is his name. He has been, had been there since March of 2020. And the company says he began a phased retirement several months ago, affording the team continuity as we move toward production ramp. Um, but it's something that the markets are learning about just now. Um, the company also said um, that it was uh, it has made just over a thousand vehicles, or made just over a thousand vehicles by the end of last year. Sauce so. retirement. I look at this guy, Julie. We're showing photos of him. He doesn't look like ninety five years old to me. And this is now a public, <laughs> newly public company. Uh, bottom line. <laughs> bottom line here. You do not want to see your chief operating officer of an electric vehicle company retire or leave for whatever reason as you're trying to ramp production. Keep in mind, Rivian uh, just warned a couple weeks ago that it's not going to meet its delivery guideline. Uh, again, just not a good look. Not a good look here. Yeah, I mean, it does seem to have retire. met that reduced. reduced you're, <laughs> just on. because you're never retiring, let other people no, take a break, on. Brian Sazi. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention quickly with um, Rivian, of course, is that the shares had also taken a hit because Amazon said it would buy electric delivery vans from Stellantis. So, um, you know, we'll kind of see in the new year what the, what the rest of the, the news flow looks like for Rivian and whether it can stage a, a bit of a comeback. It's not happening today.